we, we worked very closely with the Department of the Marine and the National Parks and Wildlife Service, uh, the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group did back in uh, 2005. And be, between us, we, with some guidance from operators as well, uh, we put together um, a, a marine notice called Marine Notice 15, uh, we, which is a fairly comprehensive document that takes a fairly common sense approach as to how both operators, both commercial and private, need to behave when they are in the company of whales. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's called Marine Notice 15. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's not a voluntary code of conduct. It's a statutory instrument. So it's actually enforceable by law. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody who has a boat, who is in particular, who is going out with the express intention of looking for whales and dolphins, needs to be mindful of that. Both to protect the animals and themselves already this this year we've seen video footage uh, of, of 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 I'm not going to say what I think of them but pe people hmm. being a little bit cavalier around whales uh, and around not observing what the whales are doing uh, there was one case where an angler was out in the boat and he was so focused, it seems, on on, 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 on on getting what seemed to be a selfie of himself uh, and this whale that the whale ended up hitting the boat and he ended up in the water. Now, thankfully, thankfully, everything went up. Yeah, it's funny. It, it is funny, but it could have been a mortality. It could have been somebody who ended up drowning. And, of course, then everybody would be clamoring, oh, these whales are dangerous. You know, whales aren't dangerous. Some people are just stupid. Uh, so, so to be mindful of the fact that that was a minky whale, had that been sort of, a, instead of being a 25-foot minky whale, had that been a 45-foot humpback or a 75-foot 22-meter fin whale, the second biggest animal on the planet, the outcome could have been quite different. We've, we've seen in the last couple of weeks video pictures taken from a whale-watching boat of people in West Cork trolling for bluefin tuna, trolling right through a bait ball of sprat where there was a humpback whale on it. And they're bringing in, you, you see the teaser lures out there which have no hooks in them, but then you see the hooks being, the, the, the lure with the hook being brought in and it missing a whale by inches. Now, you're not going to foul hook a humpback whale, but you, that whale could quite easily have ended up getting wrapped around that. And, and, and that wire on a bluefin tuna lure you know, it would be like cheese wire, could easily cut through a whale's spectral fin. Uh, so we're just asking people to, to adopt a certain amount of common sense, that these are large animals, and although they're benign, every year accidents do happen, and they're complete, in a lot of cases, they, they are unnecessary accidents. So just be respectful of the fact, and, and know that there is a statutory instrument, Marine Notice 15, 2005, which prohibits people uh, on any boat from from sort of from from behaving in a way I such as for instance people on boats swimming with whales completely illegal in Irish waters boats traveling uh, getting way too close say more than closer than 100 meters of whales uh, boats crossing the path of whales boats spending longer than 30 minutes with whales all, all of these are sort of useful guides uh, that people need to be mindful of and again it's not only to protect the, the whales it's to, to ensure and to minimise uh, the, the, the risk of accidents uh, and interactions that go pear-shaped between whales and people because that is going to be a growing area. You know, as whale watching is growing year on year and more and more boats are seeing that, you know, our seas are becoming sort of worse and worse in terms of they're becoming, uh, you know, less good for angling and deep sea angling. More of these boats are looking to whale watching as a way to diversify and there's going to be more pressure uh, on these whales uh, because there's going to be more but ju just look what's happening in Kerry now in recent years you know all the, the you know the, the the fungi boats in Dingle were starting to see the, the writing on the wall with fungi's behaviour and that he was getting old they're all now starting to go out into Dingle Bay on their fast ribs which have potential great potential to disturb whales because they're so fast they're so manoeuvrable they can get the whales very quickly so Irish Whale and Dolphin Group thinks it's fantastic that people are whale watching out on boats, but we need to be mindful of the potential for disturbance to the animals. And if we keep disturbing whales uh, when they're coming to these rich feeding areas off the southwest of Ireland, places like West Kerry and West Cork, those whales will vote with their fins and they will just move to other feeding areas. And that would be an awful shame. So don't, let, let's not sort of, you know, kill the goose that lays the golden egg by, 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 by behaving badly around these animals.